Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. This is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. And as soon as I'm done with uh, the shuffling, <clears throat> we're going to jump into the reading. By the way, guys, uh, I haven't shared that with you, but I do find shuffling in front of camera completely unnecessary. It just wastes time. And let me know down in the comments, do you want me to uh, continue on shuffle in front of camera or, you know, you prefer to jump straight away into the reading. So that being said, going to the Virgo first card, which is uh, the topic of their week, that is going to be the Knight of Wands, followed by the challenges that Virgo needs to overcome here. This is going to be the World card. After that, that is going to be the positivity, the positive aspect of the week. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles and the last one, which is the guidance the Virgo um, should follow, or rather it's advisable to follow. We do have the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, all in all here, just the first impression from these cards, Virgo, is that we do have a person to come in, in a, and it does depend what you're going through. That will define where that person is going to manifest himself, not necessarily a new suitor. You know, it could be as well business partner, but it does depend well, once again, what kind of a situation you're in. Now, the thing is that this person, which is uh, marked here by the uh, Knights of Cups, it's... Um, as a, a prime card to the uh, next cards, it's quite reliable in a sense of uh, association, meaning that it is unlikely that, go that they're gonna bail out on you. But the person as well is very enthusiastic and very enterprising as well, meaning that they always keep their, I don't know how to say it, you know, but their life on a full motion, okay, so they don't stop at one place, and usually that person, it kind of involves themselves into a many activities, therefore it is, uh, this person is multitasking. The good thing about this person is that it is, the person itself is not afraid to do whatever is necessary in order to achieve the goal, so take it as if that is your suitor, for example, uh, they will not be shy to show their attraction towards you or to show their interest as well towards you either. Uh, the accompanied card here, this is going to be the five of uh, wands, so the formation is active um, supporters. First thing I want to say as a contribution to the Knights of Swords, uh, uh, the Knights of Wands, excuse me, as we do have a catalyst of another one card, it means that this person as well is prone to burn out very quickly, meaning that if, for example, that is someone who shows an interest in you, if you don't show an interest in them in them quickly, they are going to burn out into it. So they are very aggressive, very active, initiative, all right? But if they see no interest, then they just, you know, stop uh, stop displaying their their interest all right additionally to that uh so associating yourself with this person or in generally that person is going to provoke a, a very amusing um 
around turns into your environment, very surprise, surprising events as well, and they are going to, in general, exert a huge dynamic in your daily environment, uh, either here with the Five of Wands. Now, with this card as well, you know, some conflicts are very possible in between you and them. For example, if that is a... Uh, your suitor, uh, a new person of interest, you know, you associate together, you, you exchange phone, uh, phone numbers, but you warn that person not to call you in the working hours, you know, because your work is very important, and yet they're doing it, you know, that, that such kind of a conflict we may have here with the Five of Wands, which only, you know, ignites even further the passion instead of causing a huge and severe problems. The, the, the Five of Wands is one of the best cards to traverse, you know, a, a despondent situation into truly lucrative or happy one. And uh, if you are single, uh, Virgo, then throughout this week, you have a huge, huge chance to uh, truly have a person of interest at your behalf or someone to be interested in you. Now, the next card here that we do have that is going to be the world, which is the, um, the challenge you need to overcome. And uh, finalizing certain things in deeds is going to be challenging. Now, uh, you to associate yourself with this person is going to require a full devotion. And uh, what I'm trying to say here with the world card is maybe you will uh, not be able to uh, finalize a previous relationship, for example, or a previous project. What I'm trying to say here is, is that associating yourself with this person requires a brand new perspective where, you know, a previous standpoint has to appear completely outdated. P meaning, you know, you associate yourself with this person of interest, you know, to be suitor and to be in a relationship, you need to completely forget about your ex. That is, for example, you uh, associate that person as a business partner, you will completely, you will have to completely sort your things out with the previous business partner of yours, and so on and so forth. The world here points as well, however, that, um, it will be challenging for yourself to seal the deal with uh, the Knights of Wands in a sense of that, uh, as I said, that their uh, life is going to be on a full motion. You will find it very difficult and hard to keep up with them. And at some point that could come a little bit of an aggravating uh, because as um, how can I place it? Um, because while you think you know that everything is sorted out, that person yet presents you a another surprise that cuts you completely off guard. Like I said, you know, some arguments here and some tension um, <clears throat> appears, which, like I said, further increase the passion in between you and them instead of deteriorating the situation. Uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Page of Cups here, so we do have a passive uh, passive friends, and we're definitely talking about re uh, readopting positions here, associating yourself with that person, and forgetting completely about previous poignant experience with same kind of people. All right, so uh, you need to be what your challenge is going to be uh, here is to attend more to the overview rather than to the minor irritating details, because everybody has uh, you know a. Um, how do you call it? A splinters, uh, uh, splinters to be take off, to be took off. We do have such an expression here into my country, but um, if you do not accept a person as a person is, then probably you should uh, you should skip onto that opportunity. So yeah, something in their behavior is gonna be aggravating to you, and you will have to attend more to the overview that you are a good match, you are a good couple, you are a good business partner, rather than to be aggravated that he's a smoker, for example, or that uh, she likes uh, to uh, to make jokes and these kind of uh, these kind of stuff. Now the positivity. <clears throat> out of that person coming into your life here, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. So variety is what we do have. They are going to basically uh, change many of your plans for the better. They are going to add so much or kind of like put so much additions into your plans, guys, that like I said, you are gonna find it rather very difficult to keep up with. And with the two of, uh, of pentacles here, you're gonna learn how to be carefree in a sense of that you are to understand that sometimes, you know, sticking to a strict routine doesn't yield uh, anything, but rather being more adaptive, playful, you know, and uh, 
going with day-to-day -day routine plan gives more benefits than just following a certain strict plan as well. Two of pentacles here points that the minor changes that this person is going to exert into your life from one of them or from multiple of them, a an extraordinary opportunity could, could come around for you to take advantage of. The accompanied card here that is going to be the tree of wands and uh, formation, it is a, a passive neutrals and it seems that you are not risking anything by associating yourself or by letting this person to come in in, in your life, all right? You just, you are not jeopardizing either your career, either your emotional state as well, and so on and so forth. Because what we do have really is relationship established on either passion or on either mutual interest. If it is about Roma romance, then it is uh, around passion and not emotions. If it is about um, uh, business endeavor, then it is a mutual interest rather than a, uh, a mutual funding of the business itself. So you are not jeopardizing anything in regards to uh, your original goal and in regards to your plan so these cards are pointing why should not yeah, why should not might to um you know try it out and see if it works for you and the final card that we do have for you virgo that is going to be the guidance here from tarot we do have the um eight of pentacles so uh this holds a hidden message it does point that the association with this person will allow you to stir a thing that was being long time planned. And if you ask me, it could speak as well about marriage. So you're planning your marriage for a very, very long time, you know, but you don't have the right person next to you. Well, there you go. You got it right now. You plan your business, you know, but you don't have the right person to initiate the business with. Well, there you go. You got it. But once again, um, Tarot never deprives you from uh, the, uh, the right to make your own choices. So you are to meet that person, but you may decide not to associate yourself with. Something in them uh, may not find you appealing to it, or simply, like I said, you know, certain sides of their character could be too much to bear, which is going to be the challenge, like I said. So ultimately at the end, um, it is up to you and it is up to you to decide just so you know that associating yourself with this person will uh, kind of serve you for a, a long, long run. And the accompanied card here with the Eight of Pentacles, that is going to be the Nine of Wands. Formation is a passive neutrals and it does look like that uh, you are already uh, prepared everything, all right? So uh, you don't have to change a thing about yourself. It all comes to that, to accept the one who comes around with all their pros and with all their cons. Additionally to that here, the guidance points that you are also going to be prepared for a major events, having that person next to you and uh, next by your side. You're going to be prepared for a major event coming on in the near future. And um, for some of you in the very grim interpretation, which is actually a positive one, that you will be able to dodge a bullet and avoid a severe storm that it is looming on the horizon. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 12, uh, 22nd to uh, April 28, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.